In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to format a USB drive to work on any operating system. Mac, Windows, Linux. Now, if you ever run into this situation where you plug in a USB drive and it doesn't even recognize, or you attempt to copy and it says you can't because it's read-only, that's what we're going to fix. Obviously, first thing is to plug in a USB drive. We're going to have to format the drive, which is going to delete all the data, so make sure you copy anything first. Right-click on the drive, and then go down to Format. Now the capacity, if you have a higher option, go ahead and choose it. Since this is a 4 gigabyte drive and my only option is a 3.8 gigabytes, I'm going to just stick with that. Now the file system option is really the important one. And this page, which I'll link in the description, talks more in depth. But basically, a file system is a way for the operating system to translate the data that's physically written to the disk into the binary data that the computer can recognize. And it's operating system specific, so that's why we run into problems. First is NTFS, or New Technology File System. Not very new since it's from 1993. It's the default for Windows, but it's read-only on Mac, which means you can't copy new data to the drive, which is kind of a pain, and that's not really an option. FAT and FAT32 are file allocation table, and 32 is the 32-bit version. These are very old Windows file systems dating back to DOS. They're so old that they're almost compatible everywhere. However, they have a 4 gigabyte file size limit. So if you're dealing with big files, maybe this isn't the option for you. XFAT is Extended File Allocation Table, an updated version of FAT32. There's no size limit, and it's compatible with Linux, Windows, and newer versions of Mac. That's anything after Leopard. I think it's the best choice for portability simply because it has no file size limit, and it will be compatible with most newer computers. All of what I've been talking about is what natively comes with the operating system. You can download other programs which can read these file systems, but I wouldn't rely on that because you don't know what the other computer has that same software installed. The next really important option is allocation unit size. This is the smallest chunk of data that a file can take up. If you have a one kilobyte file, but it's an eight kilobyte allocation size, that one kilobyte file will take up the entire eight kilobytes with seven just empty space. A larger allocation size leads to more wasted space, but it's slightly faster. Smaller allocation size, less wasted space, but it's a bit slower because larger files have to be broken up and stored in different locations. Now to give you an example, I had about 200 megabytes of pictures, and they're all 1 to 3 megabytes. I copied them to a drive, which had a 4 megabyte allocation size, and they ended up taking up 700 megabytes. That's almost 500 megabytes of wasted space. This defaulted to 32 kilobytes, but I actually recommend going even smaller. 4096 or 8192 bytes. That's 4 or 8 kilobytes, respectively. The next thing is the volume label. This is simply what you want to call a disk. It doesn't really matter because you can always change it later. You'll be limited to around 11 characters, and if you're on FAT32, you can't use any lowercase, or if you do, it will correct everything to be uppercase. Finally, you want to make sure that quick format is checked. If you don't, it will take a very long time because the computer will scan the entire USB drive for any bad sectors. This isn't really a problem for most USB drives, especially new ones, so you can just do a quick format and it will be done in seconds. Gonna pop up with this warning that is gonna erase all the data. Click OK, and the format is complete. Just to show you another way to change the name, right click and rename. You could change it to USB. And finally, you go into properties and you could change it here. And to recap, format the drive. Make sure you choose FAT32 or XFAT for compatibility and a small allocation size. And your USB drive should be all set.